Hello everybody and welcome to your 24th SFML tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be learning about uh, vector 2's. And uh, vector 2's aren't like the vector library or the vector container, container class that is default with C++. It's, it's different with um, SFML. And uh, for those of you who have used C Sharp and X and A, Vector 2s are the exact same. Uh, vector 2s are are basically, a, you could say, an array that stores both, uh, it stores two values, an X value and a Y value. So this is very, uh, it's very convenient. Uh, say you have a player and you want to um store the player's x and y position you can do that storing the using the vector 2 uh vector 2 class you want to store like the uh the position or something you can store the x and y coordinate etc etc and even if it's something that doesn't require an x and y coordinate even if you just want to specify two different things that are related to each other then you can store that information into a vector so to create a vector two, there's different types of vector two. Uh, uh, if you do SF vector, and there's like vector two i, there's vector two f, and I think those are the two default ones. And f stands for float, and i stands for integer. Uh, so vector two, for first to create a vector two, you type in vector two, you type in the name of the vector, uh, name whatever name you want to put it as. And then you put in the x value and the y value. Now the this is how vectors work. So if I wanted to get the x position of the vector two, right? I could say that uh, I could just do font position dot and then x, and then I'd get this value right here. If I wanted to get the y coordinate, then I could do font position dot y, and therefore you store the x and y into one position. So it's much like saying uh, I can make a float font position. And it's much like making a, a, a an array with uh, two elements in there and storing the values in there. But instead of uh, calling like like font position zero and font position and font position one, I could just do font position dot x and one dot y, and then it's all stored into the vector two class. So that's really convenient. So I made a, a vector two float with the font position with um, the position that screen width divided by two and screen height divided by two, and then before we had those values stored in here, but all I would do is put the vector two value in there, font position, so we'll fill in the x and y coordinate spot, and everything will be the same as last tutorial. So if you run this, the text will be in the center of the screen, exactly where you had it before. So to run this to show you guys, if you guys don't really believe me. Okay, so let's wait for the window to pop up. And you see coding made easy right there in the middle of the screen. So that is it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching and bye.